Good morning, Internet. Adam Bate here from WebSaversHosting.ca. And this morning, I'm going to do just a quick demonstration video for you. Um, and today's video will be on using the whitelist and blacklist within Spam Assassin uh, on a Plesk 9 uh, control panel. Now, if you've watched our previous video, you've seen that we've set up uh, Spam Assassin and, and configured it for our mailbox. And this will just take it to the next step in adding um, you know, some emails to the blacklist and the whitelist to, uh, just to show you how that works. So the first thing you're going to want to do, go ahead and log into the Client Center. Um, if you're an existing customer with us, you can find that at websavershosting.ca. Once you're inside under Hosting Plans, you can click on the Access Plesk button. Now, if you're not a, an existing client of ours, if you just found this video on YouTube, um, you should join us right here at the, the Plesk 9 uh, dashboard screen. The first thing you're going to want to do here is click on Domains and then choose the domain name that you want to uh, set up the whitelist and blacklist for. So in this case, it would be websaversdemo.com. And in here, we're going to click on Mail Accounts. Um, and under Mail Accounts, you're going to choose the email address that you want to um, to add the, the emails for the whitelist or blacklist. Um, and as you can see, the Adam at WebSaversDemo.com has the S or the spam filtering enabled. So this is, uh, this is highlighted here. So we're going to choose that. Um, and in here, we're going to click on Spam Filter. Um, and then once we're in Spam Filter, we're going to click on Blacklist or Whitelist. So you can see this screen probably looks familiar from the last video we did. Um, we have Spam Assassin switched on. Uh, we put a score of three and we left the, the stars and the, the spam there. Um, in order to flag the messages. So if you do have an email that for whatever reason is, is getting through uh, your spam filter, um, and if you've seen perhaps it's multiple messages from one domain, or like multiple email addresses from one domain, or it's one particular user, um, and you, for some reason that's getting through, you can add that to the blacklist. So what you do is click on blacklist tab here, click on add addresses, um, and you can import it from a file if you have, say, a, a list of email addresses, or you can just input them one by one um, right here into the the block here that says email addresses. So maybe it's um, you know maybe it's user at, and maybe it's a an online pharmacy or online drugstore, and it's online drugstore.com. Maybe this is they're sending you information on online drugs, and you don't know how, but it keeps getting through. So you can add that right into the um, to the blacklist here. You can separate the emails with a comma um, or a new line. So let's do a new line. Um, and say, for example, um, that it was the entire online drugstore.com domain that's been sending you spam. So it's not necessarily one user. You can use sort of wildcards. Um, you can use star at online drugstore.com. Now that'll block email from any email account on online, online drugstore.com. Um, and so you can, you can set it up this way, um, either entire domain or the user. And then once you, you have what you want in the blacklist, just go ahead and click OK. And you can see that these are, you know, they're the play sign there. Um, so they're, they are enabled. Um, and so both user at online drugstore and all of the domain online drugstore will now be, be blocked from the blacklist. Um, so they won't even get a chance to... Um, you know, receive a score once they come in. Spam Assassin will automatically flag them as spam. Uh, now, if you want to add something to the whitelist, you can click whitelist here. Um, click add addresses. It's the same thing as the blacklist. Um, and you know, if the whitelist, you may be asking why you'd want to whitelist something um, if someone's sending you spam. But if, say, for example, uh, the server that you know one of your clients or uh, one of your coworkers are sending email from, whether it's their you know personal email address or their business email address, um, if that's hosted on on a server or on an IP address that you know, was historically or at one time listed on a spam database or perhaps is even currently listed on a spam database um, because of some issues with maybe another client on that same IP address or, or whatever the reason, because um, it does take some time to to remove the IP addresses from the spam data spam databases. Um, so in that, you know, couple of days to a week, they could be sending you emails, uh, whereas spam, uh, spam assassins picking them up and flagging them as spam and you're missing them. So if that is the case, it's the same, um, uh, the same format. So say if I want um, client at clientdomain.com. Uh, so say if there's, you know, someone sending me emails 
um, that's being flagged as spam, I can put their email address in there just as is or the same as the blacklist. I can do uh, star at clientdomain.com. Click OK. Give that a second to, to add to the, the whitelist, and you can see these are set up here as well. Um, and that's really all there is to using a, a blacklist and a whitelist for Spam Assassin. Uh, you can easily just check these off and remove them and confirm removal, click OK, and then they'll be no longer um, no longer on your, your whitelist or blacklist. Um, if you have any questions about Spam Assassin or, or using the whitelist or blacklist or anything to do with it, if you're an existing client of ours, please feel free to open up a support ticket with us. You can get that at websavershosting.ca um, or you can always reach us on Twitter at websavers. I uh, hope this helps. I uh, hope this answers some of your questions and we look forward to hearing from you.